Hey everyone, Kuran here welcoming you back to Tales of the Abyss. In the last episode, we headed into Doth to talk to Ion about ending the war, then ended up getting caught by Mose and Dist, who took us to Batical to get executed. We are clearly not executed, however, we were forced out of the city and rescued only by Ash and the intervention of his White Knights. In this episode, we are going to head into a new location, and Mista Marsh, which is a bit of a pain in the butt if you're not prepared. And it's still a bit of a pain in the butt even if you are prepared, so, oh boy. Now, you'll notice, we go right into a pseudo world map section. I hope Ash is alright. He'll be fine. The people of Kim Lasker are on his side. Yes, all those people, just for my sake. You can express your thanks by saving Aldred. We're the only ones who know this world is in danger. Yes. Where does the marsh lead? Belkind, I think. Let's first meet up with Ash there. Belkind is Duke Faber's territory. We'll have to stay sharp. I know. There's something scary about this marsh. Let's pray we don't run into any nasty monsters. Well, you might think, well, gee, Jade, you're just kidding. As it turns out, no, no, he's really not. Okay, Talwar's a good sword. I don't think it'll be good for Luke. And it's not even good for Guy. Okay, never mind. It's good for selling. Now, one thing I do want to recommend is if you are in this swamp area and you want to grab all the treasure, you will definitely want to use Holy Bottles to do it because, well, this can get a little rough as far as trying to go after all the stuff while you're busy trying to avoid all the monsters. So that is something to keep in mind, and that's why I recommended you buy some. I don't think I'm gonna be getting all the treasure in here. It's kinda of hard to get all of it, honestly. Now, part of it is because, well, it's kinda of hard to find all of it too, although you can see some of it there. But another reason why it's hard to get all the treasure is because of, well, uh, the elephant in the room, or as it turns out, not an elephant, but uh, actually, well, something else in the room that we will meet in short order here as we gallivant around. It's been a while since I've said gallivant. It's a good word. But anyway, once we start running up into this area here, we will soon discover the, uh, the boogeyman. What is it? About that nasty monster that Jade mentioned. It looks like it's more than just a rumor. Is there something here? It's an old story, but... They say that a violent monster in these parts used to attack travelers. They sent teams to exterminate it multiple times. They never succeeded, so they instead trapped it inside the marsh by planting flowers that it didn't like. I thought it was just a story, but you saw those flowers, right? You're saying that story's real? What? It should be dead by now, right? We can hope. Nah, it's not dead. No way! Is that the monster you were talking about? We'll gain nothing from fighting that creature now. I doubt we could defeat it in our present state anyway. We should avoid any confrontations with it as we pass through the marsh. Why are you so certain we can't defeat it? If you could beat it by brute force, other teams would have taken it out already. Exactly. For now, let's run. We know it doesn't like Reflessia pollen. We can use that fact to make it through the marsh. Okay, and if it does catch up to us, we run immediately. Understood. Yeah, there's our boogeyman. And it plants us back at the beginning of the marsh, which I find to be a little... I don't know. I'm not sure why they plant us back at the beginning of the marsh. It's a little... I wouldn't say particularly bad. But it's kind of rough. I don't quite understand it. Anyway, that's the trick to the forest. Or the marsh, rather. Forest, listen to me. We have to make it through the marsh without attracting the attention, or if we do attract the attention of the behemoth without uh, running across them as much as we can. Now that makes it difficult, if not impossible, to get all the treasure in here. So if you're wanting to do that, I wouldn't particularly worry about it right now. You, you can grab some of it if you want, but for instance, if you try to grab that chest right there, the behemoth will spawn on you, and that is bad, bad news. Now, I want to go ahead and save here, and it's not often that I save on camera, but I want to save here because, well, there is a very real possibility that something happening later is going to really screw me up, so I want to protect against that. What's wrong, Natalia? Oh, 
It's nothing. Are you not feeling well? Ah! Oh no! Damn! Anis, Reflessia Pollen! Right! Let's get out of here, now! Now how they just happen to have Reflessia Pollen on them just kind of casually, la 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 la, I'm not really sure, but. Now if you want to go through this forest, forest, I keep calling it a forest, I don't know why I keep calling it a forest. If you want to go through this marsh and collect all the treasure, obviously you can do that. And it's probably not the worst thing in the world to go ahead and grab treasure, and treasure is good. However, there is that problem in regards to well, being able to chase off the behemoth if you run across him, so be careful about that. That having been said, I'm actually doing a better job of this than I thought I would. Now, some of the stuff I've collected is new. I'm not really going to profile it until we leave the marsh. For a couple of reasons. One, because I want to go ahead and get through this. And secondly, well, yeah, uh, we kind of need to equip some of it before we go further than going into the marsh. Is this dead end? It does not. It goes around. Okay. Sorry, I've looked at maps of this place before, but I couldn't quite remember everything here, so, uh oh. Uh, Holy Bottle, I don't want to fight you. Now, we might end up still fighting him anyway. Nope, okay, that casts him away, nice. I probably will also go over some of the monsters in this area after we leave, because I really don't want to fight them right now. Main reason is because of that behemoth. Now, there will be a time when we will fight him, and it actually is after we leave this place. And, oh god, there he is. Um, wow, even the Holy Bottle keeps him away. I didn't know that. Oh, go Holy Bottle. Dang, man. Okay, well, there's another reason to have those things on you, because, well, they will save your butt, literally. Okay, now, I think we have to go cross this bridge in order to continue onward. And we have save point there, of course, so definitely a good idea. Jade, time for a break. Too nice. You know what happened earlier. Keep an eye out. Right. The people in Batical would be in tears if Natalia got hurt here. Yeah. I was so surprised. They really love her. Natalia's in charge of public works. She uses the profits to help the needy. Everyone admires her. If Luke were the prince, he would have just enjoyed his nice, cushy life. Even statesmen need to have character. Yeah. The people of Batical don't love the princess. They love Natalia. But father! If his majesty insists on rejecting you, then come with me to Malkuth. I'd welcome you with open arms. How can you say things like that with a straight face? Hey, don't let Guy Sweet talk you into defecting to Malkuth. How about instead we take King Ingelbert off the throne and make Natalia queen? <laughs> I'm sorry. I... I didn't mean to start crying. It's okay. So much has happened. It's got to have been unsettling. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm all right. Thank you, Guy. I'm happy I could help bring back your smile. You're going to make me blush. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. Okay, well, we got through that. We've got another save point here. I think this is a healing point. Best I can tell, anyway. I'm not going to save it this one, though. I think if I try to... Yeah, that's what I thought. Try to get this treasure. Old Behe pops up, so I want to avoid that. Now, this, I believe, is actually the exit. So we've made it through. We've got most of the treasure here. I think we're going to make it out of the marsh. Now, I don't know why Annis jumped the other way when everybody was closer to her there, but... Oh well, I'll go with it. Annis! Oh no! We've got to do something! We'll keep it busy while the others perform the rescue. Okay, go in for the rescue while we keep it busy. After that, run! Understood. Fight to distract the behemoth while rescuing your companions. Alright, yes, run away, run away. Now, pretty much what this means in the real sense of things this is, is once good. this thing pops up, go There's ahead and no run. Escape <laughs> while you are no attacking it, and don't let it attack you much because, well, it really hurts. 
they're safe. Time to run. Now! Did we get it? We may not have killed it, but that's enough for now. Let's go. Right! Phew. We managed to get away. Jeez! I thought we were dead. I heard that attacks barely harmed the behemoth, but Luke's attacks worked. Perhaps Luke's hyper-resonance has had an effect. You're amazing, Master! <laughs> no. Attacks damaged it twice. Both times, Tyr was singing a phonic hymn. We should keep that in mind as well. At least we got away. Let's get to town. Yeah, Belkind is to the west, along the mountains. Right. Actually, what I'm going to do is save my game and end the episode. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to save the game and actually go back in there because once you leave the Inista Marsh, you can go back in and actually stand a chance against the Behemoth. However, keep in mind, it is really tough. You noticed in those about five seconds that I was in the battle that Jade almost got killed. So if you do want to go back in there, you don't actually have to do it at this time, but I am going to because, well, I'm a glutton for punishment. So, yeah, we're going to go back in there and see if we can beat this guy up. Now, all you really have to do to cue him, in terms of monsters and what have you, is just go over and grab that treasure that I missed earlier. Uh, don't catch me. Don't catch me. Because once the behemoth comes in, it will despawn all the other monsters. And now, let's fight him. Alright, now, we actually get to do our real bio of him. I will mention, this battle is actually kind of worth using an all divide. I may very well go ahead and do that. You notice, 1200 physical attack. Oh my god. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, give it a couple of seconds to get my items back, and I am going to go ahead and use that all divide because we will need it. You're going to, to some degree, employ the sword dancer strategy against him, which should be pretty tried and true by this point. Oh, good. Got ourselves a new uh, tech attack. Now, you notice, though, even with the all divide, he hurts. Oh, boy. Uh, so you definitely want to definitely want to be alert with this thing. Oh god. Okay. Now the only unfortunate part about the all divide is it divides your attacks too, so you'll want to bear that in mind. However, it makes it a lot easier to escape and not fall prey to certain things. This is also, by the way, why I went ahead and stocked up on the, all the healing stuff, because we're definitely gonna need it. Alright, let me actually go ahead and use that on guy since he is bearing the front right now. And then, of course, they follows me. All right, I'm waiting for you to come off of over limit or close enough. Waiting for you to be staggerable again. There we go. All right. No, almost got 50 again. Darn it. One more attack would have done it, too. Oh, well. Still, not that big a deal. But I would have liked to see that 50 hit combo. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whew. Well, that all divide definitely does help. You notice we're not taking his HP down very quickly, but it's keeping us alive, and that's all that really matters to me right now. Oh boy. Okay, good. Now, you'll notice he is over limiting a lot, and he also is a magic caster, so you want to keep that in mind too. And no, 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 God! Well then, okie dokie, uh, Jade. Hey, Jade, Jade, Jade. Oh, God, I don't have life bottles. You've got to be kidding me. I bought everything else, and there weren't any of those. Shoot. Oh, well, I think this might be it for this one. I didn't think he was going to get us all at once. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up... Oh, God, why did I not have life bottles? Ah, why weren't there any for sale? Yep, okay, well... Crap, I will uh, see you guys when we come back in, I guess. Okay, well, we are pretty much back where we were before. Uh, I haven't died. Well, actually, I did die, but uh, I'm the only one that's died so far. So just as long as the healer doesn't die, you're okay in this without any life bottles. But you want to definitely be careful with that. 
Now this is something else I think, this is good, good God. Something else worth mentioning also is for whatever reason, the arena is very small in this battle, or at least it seems very small, maybe because of, I don't know, maybe because of the size of Behemoth. So if you have problems, you're going to have a lot of potential problems dealing damage and trying to evade him, especially when it comes to everything going on. You'll want to be careful about that, along with everything else, obviously, like that. Okay. God, I'm using, I'm eating these lemon gels like they're candy. Jesus. Boy, uh, let's see. We are at 83 grand. So we're actually fair amount along. Come on, stagger. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Good. Get his attention away. And come on. There we go. Got him. Good. Whew. It's not going to hurt him all that much, but it's still going to pile on a little bit of the damage. Boy. Okay, and he immediately over limits. Good God, all right. And then you had used a healing item, so I've got to try to kite him until good. I'm not counting on, I'm not particularly counting on healing, I, or on a tear to heal me in this battle. Granted, obviously she will. Oh, good. But I am not going to count on that happening because I just want to... I want to make sure that I can handle this myself, just in case. All right, and Jade, you need it. Okay, Guy's probably gonna need it next. Now, when did you? She over? He over it? God, over limited again. Dirty, dirt, dirt, dirt. All right, uh, me. Oh, shut up, Tear. Come on, come on. There you go. Good. Again, Sword Dancer strategy is really helpful for this, and not that. Okay, I need to actually get some TP back. Let's see, Pineapple Gel, that's why I bought you all. Hi! Come on, keep hitting him. No crap! Well, that works too, I guess. Where are we? Ooh, 45,000. We're doing pretty good this time. No! Bad. Bad behemoth. Bad behemoth. Okay, I am actually going to Medlange tier because she needs both the HP and the physical okay, attacks. Come on, hit me, hit me, hit me. No, not Guy. Can I get to Guy before? Nope, I can't. Okay, that's great. And he's still over limited, so yes. Kite, 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 kite. Come on. Come on, boy. Hemoth, 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 hemoth. Whoop. Nope. Okay, let's see. All right, no life bottles. Shoot, I totally forgot. Okay. All right, let's see if I can get his attention. And not like that. See, the good thing about him, Behemoth, is he's actually a little bit easier to... He's actually a little bit easier to kite or to stagger than Sword Dancer is, which is good. I mean, it does provide a definitely necessary advantage. Oh, crap, I can't see his stats. Uh, hi, can I see? Oh, she's. I'm about to get hit. Okay, good. Woo I know I don't use... I don't use defend as much as I should. I... Yeah, I probably deserve some ribbing for that if you guys if you guys have been giving it. Or if you've been thinking it in your video... And watching the videos. It's a fair point. But at the same time, I usually... The mode of this game is mostly attack. So, it doesn't lend itself particularly well to actually defending. Alright, who are you going to hit with that? You're probably going to hit Jade. So, let me use another Melange. Or you could use a guy that works too, and he's... Okay, come on. Shut up! Oh, 1500. Okay, we're almost there. Alright. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I don't die. Make sure... Okay, come on. Yeah, you're going to cast it at tier. Make sure she doesn't die from that. I don't think she's going to. I'm going to go ahead and lemon gel myself. Ooh, good. That birdie gave us plenty of time to go after him. That's nice. I needed that. Okay, let me now heal guy. There we go. Okay, cool. Now, we should be pretty close. Good, 8,000, and that's going after me, so let me get out of the way here. All right, good. Ooh, sweet. Good time for a fob change, Jade. Man, that was good timing. And we got him. Nice. And we lost great. I don't give a crap. 
Now you'll notice, we lost grade. This is not considered to be a boss fight. It is a regular encounter. So, actually, we did okay because I died at the very, very beginning of this. So we lost the point for losing me. And we still lost less than a point of grade overall. So we did alright. Let's see. Yay. Ooh, heavy hit. I'll take a look at that. And spirit healer. Which means I think I start getting TP recovered after battle. Wow. Look at all this. I mean, good god. 20,000 experience? Definitely is going to get you some levels and some add skills and all that good stuff. Let's see. Let me do some cooking. Thank you very much. And the golden helm we picked up. Hang on to that. Do not sell it. The game really won't let you sell it anyway. Hang on to that, though, for a side quest that comes up later in the game that can get you a title that you will very much use in New Game Plus. Well, I will, anyway, uh, when I play New Game Plus. I'm going to go ahead and use a Holy Bottle, though, because I don't want to fight anybody else because I am very, very weak right now. But let's go ahead and get the heck out of this place. If it will let me out, that is. Alright, so, whew, finally, we are out of here. Now, that monster is one of the harder ones that you're going to be taking on. Oh, God, i got to figure out how to get out of here. One of the harder monsters that you're going to be taking on at any point in this game. So, if you beat him, or if you went ahead and went after him and beat him, good job. It's definitely a noteworthy achievement. Now, getting out of here, apparently, is going to be another noteworthy achievement because I've forgotten how. Okay, let's swirl the camera around here. This is the exit. I... For some reason, I thought that the exit was around here because it slopes down. And I think it does from this area. So let's go ahead and dash around here. This should give us our path back to where we were going or where we're supposed to go, which, as they mentioned, is Belkin. Now, Belkin, that's why I'm... Huh, okay. Well, all right. I didn't actually know you could really go this far over in this, but this is not the right direction, I don't think. Oh, crap, no, don't catch me, monster. I don't want to fight you. Wow, all right, so I guess if you wanted to, could you have actually gone all the way around the, all the, way around the swamp? That would have been kind of crazy, actually, now that you look at it. Yeah, you pretty much could have. Okay, well, clearly not the right direction, though, so let's go ahead and run back this way. And I guess you did have to go through that forest area. I... Not sure why I thought you needed to go the other way. Shame on me. But let's go through here and see if we can make our way back to where we're supposed to go. And I don't know why the camera keeps sort of twisting on me here. It's not supposed to be. I'm not, well, at least moving it then, anyway. Okay, there's our land that I was looking at earlier that we needed to get to. Just the question is how to get to it. I guess we had to go through that forest earlier to do it. So, mea culpa. But at any rate... Once we do get down there, hi, here we are. Right, well, yeah, right in front of the bridge, so, man. Ha, huh. if you ever need a uh, an instance of me missing the forest for the trees, I miss the trees for the forest, I guess. Okay, I do actually need to go down this way, though, because this takes us by, at least, I think, around the port, and will take us to our ultimate destination, which, as I mentioned earlier, is Falcon. Okay, hello, beach. Hello, spit of land, and good grief, I guess we do. Man, I'm just getting all sorts of lost here. But you notice, it's kind of tough to figure this place out. Uh, you know, maybe I should have talked on it. Well, we got a new enemy here, I guess. We can talk about him. Let's go. Hello, the Vuive, which I believe is a French word, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, good, White Tiger Strike's one of his better abilities. Let's see. Let me look you up here, Vuive. Probably not pronouncing that right, incidentally. So we get a learned art and the profile at the same time. Uh, you notice he had some, obviously some fair bit of HP, but once he gets back up, we're going to kill him. Hello. Goodbye. Nothing personal. But not too much really aside from that. I mean, it's not a lot to really write home about. It's a new enemy, though, so obviously worth looking at. Okay, here we go, I believe. Yes, there we are. Because there you have the port, and then, of course, we move along through the road to Belkin itself. Oh, wait. Again, sorry about that. That area kind of gets you off your bearings a little bit, so me, a culpa. I don't want to fight you. Go away. I don't want to fight you. Go away. All right. No, I don't want to fight you. Go away, monster. 
Good God, he's just not gonna leave me behind. All right, fine, let's kill him. Shall we? Welcome to a couple of new enemies. The Camo Wolf, I'm assuming is what this is. Yep, hello. Not much to say, really. Same amount of attack, same amount of defense as of most of the monsters that we've been fighting here. Dang it. Ah, come on, you. Okay, there we go. All right. And you missed again. That's the bad thing about Guy's Mystic Art. It tends to miss a lot, which is a little awkward. Granted, it still gets you the grade credit for it, but you still miss, and it stinks. Too easy. All right, so... Next time on Tales of the Abyss, we are going to make our way into Belkin and see if we can go further about chasing after Van. So thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see y'all later.